yes i'm an Igbo. yet still want nam the kanu to be sentenced to jail joe ibokwe claims everybody already know that you have a natural hatred for Igbo, not just for biafran alone naturally for Igbo, and that's very uh, reason is a very selfish reason because when I tried checking at the reason I discovered that it was a very selfish one you have this natural hatred because of your person because of what your person your person have and you don't want your person to lose that very thing that you have you can see that you are actually thinking about yourself and, uh, and not others. Someone of your caliber cannot be given a sensitive position, unlike the position you are, uh, you, you are handling in Lagos State as Minister for Drainage. You, you, you are supposed to handle such a position because it, it, it's a position that, that demands someone who have love for, for the public. Someone would think about the public and not for himself alone. But your kind of person would think about yourself alone and not for the public. You understand? So no wonder Nigerian is even suffering in that very uh, sector and department. Because not a capable hand is handling it. You, you understand what I'm saying, my dear listeners? So I'm not surprised that this is actually coming from Joe Bokwe because it is what we already expected from someone like that he is a sadist he is a sadist so he doesn't have anything good coming from him nothing good at all okay let's check the content my dear Igbo brothers and sisters it is with great sense of love for the preservation of our industrious values that I write this affectionate plea. The call for the separation of the Igbo people from the entity known as Nigeria is a ploy by some selfish elites among us to push home their agenda of divide and rule. My father is an Igbo man. My mother is an Igbo man. And I am an Igbo man. So, there is nothing that disconnects me from the Igbo. But then, one thing I detest the Igbos for is their selfishness. And I will hate them for that. According to Joe Bukwe, he said that the Igbo are not their brother's keepers. The Northerners are far better than the Igbos because they think about their own and their very own. An Igbo man will never see you dying and give you a hand for help. Instead, he will pass by. Who says that the Igbos truly know what they are doing? That person is a liar. Joe Ibukwe said that for this reason, I am of the opinion that Namde can be sent to jail. I don't mind. He has murdered enough. He has committed enough. So it is better he goes to jail and let the sleeping dog lie. He concluded. Joe Buku is an idiot. Yes, a very big idiot. Because if he's not an idiot, this very statement he just voiced out now wouldn't have been voiced out. You understand? He wouldn't have even voiced it out. In fact, I'm ashamed of Joey Bukwe. Very, very ashamed of him. See, there is nothing anyone can we say now that is going to justify the statement of Joey Bukwe. 
I remember one of his very reasons why he detests the Igbos. And that is when he said that uh, you as an Igbo, why will you be um, supporting agitation for Biafra when you know that you have a major asset here in the West? You cannot see that. He still went on to say that you Igbo, why will you say that you are going for Biafra when the highest income you receive is here in the West? You see that? Joe Ibukwe has never gone out of this very line since he started um, being against the indigenous group of Biafra. So, I am not surprised anyway, but the only thing I would say to the IPOP is that they should remain resolute. They should remain very resolute and very, very focused. Because the man called Joe Ibokwe is not a leader to be believed. It's not. So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what is trial on this very broadcast maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you